Well, hello guys and welcome back to And We've Gone Country. So I'm doing chores out here today by myself because my husband is in Texas for work. And uh, I don't know if you guys have seen by you, it's, it's kind of hard to tell how hazy it is out here, but the Canada fires have really been affecting us. So I'm just doing a close up of my watch here. Um, I was just looking at the air quality and it's pretty bad <laughs> and I'm really sensitive to this stuff. So, so here we go. You can see it right here. Air quality is very unhealthy at 243. Just this morning it was 203. So it just keeps climbing. This, I think yesterday it was as high as like 180 something, 187 maybe. It's all the way up to 243 today. So I'm doing something that I never do and I absolutely hate doing and that's wearing a mask. Hi. <laughs> so just for my own safety, because it says it's very unhealthy and I have breathing problems as it is. Um, this is unfortunately what I'm stuck doing today. So if you can't really hear me very well, it's because my voice is muffled. Um, and I am going to keep this pretty short just because it's, it's really hard to breathe through this mask. And I want to get chores done as soon as possible. <laughs> So, I don't know, yeah, the, the camera's not very good at picking up all the haze out here, but it is super, super hazy. I don't know if you can tell, a little bit better over here in the orchard. Um, it looks just kind of like a, a hazy, almost kind of rainy type day, you know, kind of gray, kind of foggy, but it's not rain, it's not fog. This is just pure, just Canada fire smoke so <clears throat> not too happy about that i want to get chores done as quickly as possible just i need to get out of this so anyways just one of those things that you deal with when you have a farm unfortunately rain snow shine and smog and canadian wildfire smoke we have to be out here to feed and water and that's just the reality of having a farm so anyways yeah i already fed these guys the, the teenagers are getting pretty big you kind of hear the babies screeching in there and uh chickies are all done for the day i'm just waiting for the water to fill oh, hi parker hey buddy how are you hi baby oh you were gone for a while the last two days he's been back though so that's good and then the kittens most of them have found a home i think there's just one more left that hasn't had hasn't found a home so the last one left is a little tortoiseshell female kitten. It's very cute. Hi, Cleo. <laughs> She's like, it's feeding time, right? Wait, I already fed you. Yeah. I already fed you. You literally just ate. Yeah, because you were up by the house, weren't you? Yeah. Nice, sweet girl. Anyways, so yeah, once again, air quality is getting up there. You can see that little dial on the right um, where it's getting purple there. That little circle there on the right kind of shows we're just about half halfway so i don't even know what happens when you get into the red <laughs> it already says very unhealthy i don't know if it starts to say dangerous or what because i've never had it go that high ever so yeah anyways we're almost full here and uh i'm gonna get out of here as soon as possible you guys stay inside stay safe if you don't have to be outside please don't i had some of my co-workers that were joking around today and they're like oh I was gardening and I was hanging out and enjoying the weather I'm like what are you talking about this is not the time for to be outside if you want to be outside and you want to enjoy yourself great but wait for a day when it's not full of Canadian wildfire smoke please I don't wear these things for fun I only wear these things if I absolutely have to and today is an absolutely have to kind of day so please don't go outside just stay inside in the air conditioning I know it's nice and cool it's sunny but it's terrible for your lungs. So just be safe, okay? All right, you guys have a great day. I'll see you later.